Hey guys, so today I want to talk about the new massive phone from Vivo, Vivo X20 Plus. Vivo X20 Plus is a brand new smartphone that will come soon. You can already pre-order it. It has a bit of an interesting design that looks a bit unique. The front screen looks like it goes a little bit higher uh, on top and bottom sides, which I love. Let's have a look at the main specs. Specs 6.43 inch, 6.43 inch, 2160 times 1080 resolution, full HD display, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabyte internal storage, Snapdragon 660 ships it, 2.2 gigahertz octa core processor, 4G curved design, 24 megapixel front camera, and 24 megapixel rear camera. Okay, so the first thing that stands out for me with Vivo X20 Plus is the curved, beautiful modern design. The massive megapixel on both front and rear cameras. The super massive 6.43 inch display reminds me about Sony Xperia's Z Ultra. Some other interesting things uh, are it comes with new Snapdragon 660 and Bluetooth 5.0. I'm curious to see how this new smartphone chipset will perform in daily tasks. And I have one more surprise for you. This phone comes with an awesome 3905 milliamp battery. Many great specs on this device. It really does sound like it can be a major hit. 745 millimeter thickness is also great. You can also unlock the phone with a fingerprint sensor located at the back. Not just that, but you also get XE680 earphones from buying this device. Something Sony need to learn is to give you headphones when you buy their smartphones. I can see a problem here and something good to know for most people. Vivo X20 Plus. I can see a problem here and something good to know for most people. Yes, Vivo X20 Plus is a massive phone, 6.4 inch display. It's huge. I remember when people thought the original Note with 5.3 inch display was uh, unusable, but this is truly massive. So make sure you really know what you're getting yourself into if you buy this device. I really do like it and I'm super curious to see how the camera will perform. It's great the last couple of years that even the front facing cameras are getting higher resolution these days.